Some of you may remember a while back when I said this. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my only form of transportation is a bicycle. Well, it's all about to change. So I've been debating the idea of buying a car for over a year at this point, and I keep coming back to the fact that I just really hate driving cars. No, I take that back. I hate the idea of driving cars in that there's all these hidden expenses like gas and insurance and tax and tag and blah 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 and repairs and all this other crap, but in reality I really like to drive. In fact, I like it so much that I went on a road trip all the way to New York City and Boston this past blah, a while back. So while we were on the road trip, you know, we were going about 70 miles an hour like you would on a highway and just this little piece of branch or something just jumped up and smashed right into the windshield. That got me thinking about really how destructive cars can be and how insane it is that I want to buy one. The problem here is that I'm about to have a baby. That little tidbit of information is what the kids these days would call an epic drop of personal information. So by January, I've got to have a way to get my girlfriend to the hospital that doesn't involve biking there nine months pregnant. For now, we're okay biking around town because she's only a few months pregnant and it's not that big of a deal, but you know, eventually it's gonna get kind of hard for her to do that. So we've been debating, you know, buying or leasing or what kind of car to get and how much gas mileage it should have and do we need it for X amount of time or what do we really need it for? And really, we're just not sure. So I'm looking for suggestions. If you got a nice car and you really like it, let us know. We're both kind of hippies, so we would like to get some kind of hybrid, but in all actuality, that still uses gas, and it doesn't exactly bring us up into the green space as much as bikes do. Although they are really shiny and cool. I think ultimately what the car is going to be used for is just getting the baby around for the first year and a half or two years. If we don't need to take the baby out, we're just going to ride a bike still. And in fact, probably at some point, we'll just get one of those child seats to go on the back of your bike so we can just take the baby anywhere we need to go but not have to take the car. So anyway, the idea of a Toyota kind of scares me because they've had some troubles, but... I really don't know if that's actual truth or if it's just media hype or what's going on, so I don't, I just don't know. Buying a car is hard. Being an adult is harder. Also, for the record, yes, I'm excited. Yes, I was scared at first, but hey, it's the way things go.